going on YouTube? We're back again with another video and today we picked up a 1983 ATC 110. Um, I had a buddy that was getting interested in three-wheelers and he come across these from somebody at work and uh, they said that they had a few three-wheelers out in a barn and they hadn't seen them in a while so they went and dug them out and they ended up being a lot rougher than they thought they were, which is unfortunate because these machines seem to be all original and even had the owner's manual with the 110. So my buddy kept the 185. It was a 185 and a 110. So, and I actually needed this 110 for some parts for another three wheeler that um, I'm supposed to be doing some work on for somebody that has a Chinese carburetor and a, uh, uh, Chinese throttle and a throttle cable so it's in pretty bad shape with that but so um, we got this thing and I figured it's perfect opportunity to do a will it run and uh, barn find and all that I wish we could have went with them to you know film the picking it up and everything because it's always interesting I, I find that it's interesting when you're, you're watching a YouTube video that somebody drags one out of a barn so but that's all right, we got it now. He dropped it off actually a couple nights ago. I worked on a foiler for him and in return he gave me this thing. So we're out in the shop, it's pretty cold outside. So we're gonna see if we can't get some work done on this thing and see if we can't get it to run. Uh, first order of business is to see if it even will pull over or not, I don't know. It's uh, the pull ropes broke off on it and I haven't checked it out hardly at all. So I'll be learning it as you guys learn it so here we go all right so this is what this thing looks like you can see it's pretty rough but i figured hey maybe we can do something with it and you know give somebody some inspiration to do something similar like this maybe we can make something cool out of this thing like it is you know it's pretty rough i think the barn that it was sitting in was leaking a lot of water so as you can see <laughs> It's in pretty bad shape. It's got a lot of corrosion in places and all that. And surprisingly, the tank, I thought the tank was going to be done for. And I did I did look at that. That's the only thing that I've looked at since I've messed with this thing. I mean, the tank is no doubt it's dirty, but it doesn't appear that there's any holes or anything down in there. So it's not... It's not great, but it's not horrible either. I've seen a lot worse. I've seen with a lot bigger scales and all that hanging in on it, so. But, yeah, this is her. Uh, the, six, the, the little rack on the back I thought was pretty cool, a Honda line rack. But maybe we can make it run. I've got some different wheels and tires for the rear that we can throw on there because these actually, these are the original Atsu tires on the front, on the, I think it's, yeah, this back tire and that front tire. And then I have the other original one back behind the shop actually. But uh, somebody's done some messing around with it too. I think there's a, there's one four lug wheel on it and a three lug wheel, so. But the other hub's still attached to the original wheel, so we'll, We'll do that if we get this thing to run and move, we'll swap some tires on it where we can ride around. We'll clean it up a little bit and see what we can make out of it. Maybe there's something still left in it, but uh, all right guys, well, let's get tearing this thing apart.
just as expected it's sitting in the barn for that long so all right let's see if we can get this side cover off and uh see what's behind it Alright guys, we got a few surprises. It's surprisingly it's not locked up, so that's a plus. Um however though, all of our pull cord mechanisms gone, so that's not great, but that's alright. I mean at least it's not locked up. I don't I'm not really sure what that sound is, but don't sound the greatest, but But it's a, it's a start, so I guess we need to try to figure out how we can crank this thing because I don't have any other pull mechanisms from one of these. Hmm. May need to do some digging there. Ah, we could probably use some rope or something like that. Pull it and uh, make sure it at least has a spark we'll check for spark next and then uh i know for a fact we'll have to pull this carburetor off that thing is terrible so i don't even think the choke lever moves <laughs> so who knows what we're gonna find in there i'm sure it's not good but all right update on what we found um well one of the parts i needed the throttle cable is <laughs> it's rotted off i don't think i've ever seen that before from something that's been sitting that long the throttle cable rotted off that is not a good sign of what's probably all going on with this thing i mean it looks like it sat in the damn titanic for this long but uh yeah the uh the cruel that I use is probably uh, worth more than what this whole three wheeler is worth. So I've got it soaking right now. The choke is stuck on it. The slide's stuck down in the carburetor. So I think this is probably, I'm just going to call it a night tonight and let all the stuff soak overnight and uh, come back at it tomorrow after work and mess with it a little bit more see if we can't get this carburetor off and get the slide out of it we're gonna have to figure out something about the throttle cable i guess i'll have to order one of those i'll need one of those regardless but um yeah it's pretty it's pretty rough <laughs> i don't know i don't know how much of this carburetor is going to be usable i mean i was hoping to Put this on another machine but i don't know if that's gonna work or not either but yeah i guess we're gonna we'll let it soak overnight and uh come back out here tomorrow after work and see how things are coming maybe that coil will do some magic overnight maybe to get this thing a, a coil overhaul so <laughs> but yep yeah. but all right guys well I will catch back up with you tomorrow. All right, it's the next night and we're back out here in the shop. The Kroll has not worked its magic, so we're gonna get this carburetor pulled off and we're gonna throw it into the ultrasonic cleaner and see if we can't get things freed up.
guys, they got the carburetor all tore down. Uh, it's pretty crunchy inside here. But it's really not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I've seen some that look like they've had black tar on the inside of them. So they're not terrible. So I'm going to just finish getting this thing the rest of the way tore apart. And I'm going to throw it in the ultrasonic cleaner. And it may end up having to soak for a day or two in there. I mean, really, but we'll see what we come up with. All right, guys, while that thing's cooking, we're going to see if we can get this thing some spark and uh, yeah, water is ready to get. All right, guys, I popped the plug out of this thing, and man, <laughs> it is not looking good at all. I'm really wondering how this thing still turns over with the plug looking like that. Looks like there had to been a ton of moisture in it. You got barnacles all over it, so... Um, well, I guess we'll try to see. I'll dig through my stash and see if I've got another plug. And we'll check for spark. All right, guys, they got us all rigged up to start this thing. <laughs> no pull rope. I'm just trying to work with what I got. But, uh, I did not have another plug. So I opted for a, uh, wire wheel rebuild. So, um, well, let's give this thing a pull and see if we've got any spark. guys i've been messing with this thing for a little while now um yeah we still don't have spark but i also know noticed in the middle of all that it had compression and um uh, and then it seemed like pulled the plug out and stuck my finger in there and just kind of rolled the motor over and it had nothing so i was kind of suspecting a stuck valve just because i'm sure everything's sticky so i took the uh the inspection caps off the top where you adjust the valves and sprayed uh some pen uh, some penetrating oil down in there i had it stood up on its ass and uh after i did that it seemed like things loosened up a little bit and i got compression back so but now i'm just trying to get spark so i'm gonna go through all the connectors and uh clean them all out i'm sure that we've got some corrosion in all of it <laughs> So I'm going to go through, clean all the connectors up, and I'm just going to start there. you got to start simple. So I'll start there, and uh, I'll give you guys an update. All right, guys. It's a couple nights later, and we're back out here in the shop. And tonight, I've been trying to get spark. And so I started going through all the connectors cleaning everything up i didn't video it because i didn't figure everybody wanted to see it for you know that long but uh so i went through all the connectors cleaned everything up and uh everything looked pretty good it wasn't actually too bad um i got my uh test light out and kept checking everything and uh everything kept I, I just didn't have any power anywhere, but my headlight kept coming on. Um, so I was never getting power up to my coil. So I ended up taking the CDI off of the 250R and I put it onto the 110 and I finally got spark. So we're gonna do this pretty rough. I've got the carburetor still in the ultrasonic cleaner, but uh, I'm gonna try to put the pull rope on this thing and spray a little brake cleaner down the intake of it and see if it'll fire up all right guys this is my pull cord setup since uh we don't have the pull cord for this thing so definitely some junkyard stuff but hey we're just trying to do a will it run on a complete budget if somebody were to find one could they pull it out and try to make it run so all right let's spray some ether down this thing and see if it won't pop off Sweet. Man, she popped, she popped right off. It didn't hardly take anything once we finally got some spark to this thing. 
I'm telling you, man, you can't, you can never count out a Honda. Some things could drown in the water and they could find them in the damn Titanic and they'll fire back up. So pretty cool. Everything is really rough on this thing, but uh, we're going to get this carburetor cleaned up and get it put back on. I'm going to have to do something about a throttle cable. I'm probably going to order one just because I'm going to need one anyway. Uh, whenever I go to part, put these parts on another guy's three-wheeler. So we're going to try to get this thing running and riding and see if we can't make something cool out of it. All right, guys. I got the carburetor all rebuilt and put back on. I kind of did it off camera just because, I mean, it was just the same process as removing it and I put it in the ultrasonic cleaner. It was a lot of cleaning on this thing. That thing was very nasty. Um, I had a bunch of carb parts in my carb uh, drawer. And um, I found us a throttle cable in there too. It's kind of long, but it works for, these, for this purpose anyway. Uh, carburetor's clean, put back on. Got this little fuel setup going on. So let's see if this thing will start. I have not tried to do anything with it yet. So y'all will see it first. All right. Okay, well, we got this thing, I think, just about figured out. Uh, I finally got it to take fuel. It wasn't taking fuel very good through the bowl, so I think that the float and everything was just a little bit stuck in there. I cleaned it all out really good and polished it with a, with a drill bit and a, a piece of emery, emery cloth on the end of the drill bit, but um, it didn't, I, I guess maybe it was just hung in there a little bit, but I got it taken fuel and uh, did a little bit of adjusting on the carb and this thing runs really good now guys. So I'll fire it up for you. There you have it. We answered the question, will this thing run? Yes, it does. So um, I think we're gonna wrap this video up here. And uh, I think what we're going to do is on the next video, we're going to get this thing running, riding. Well, it does run, but we're gonna get it riding. And we're gonna throw the plastics on it. We're gonna clean the tank up, see if the tank will even hold fuel. I'm not sure, somebody's lined it. It's in pretty rough shape, but we're gonna give it a shot. And we're gonna see if we can make this thing, make a few laps. Uh, I'm shocked at how well it runs. I mean, with how rough the bike was, I was not thinking that it was ever probably going to run. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this video, like, share, comment, subscribe, and we'll have some more for you. I've got another Will It Run coming up after this one probably we may do a few videos in between then but uh i actually acquired another bike from where the same place from where this one came from it's in a little better shape than this one it's a it's a i'll, I'll go ahead and tell you guys it's a 1983 185s so and i think we're gonna hold on to that one we're gonna try to do some cool stuff with it and make it a little rider so but uh yeah you guys come back like share comment subscribe Follow my videos and uh, follow the channel. 
subscribe doesn't cost anything guys so we will see you guys on the next one